Hey everybody, welcome to the Runaway Kids Podcast. And today we're going to be calling up a homie that works at Safeway. And we're going to talk to him about what he thinks are the best aisles to have sex in. So the homie did not actually answer, so we're just going to call Safeway and figure it out from them. Hey, yeah, so um, this is an honest question. What are the best aisles to have sex in at Safeway? For, like, maximum, like, privacy and comfort? Honest. What are the best aisles in Safeway to have sex in? Ones that don't have the cameras. Would, would you, like closer to the. Like by the meat aisle? The meat aisle might be a little cold. Um, probably, probably a little hard to get hard. Yeah. That could be pretty embarrassing in the cold aisle. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. What, what type of. In the, would you say like the produce section or some shit? Maybe like the laundry aisle, you know, it has like the good smell. The what? The laundry aisle. Laundry aisle? Like where the laundry soap is, Tide, cleaning supplies. Yes. All right, we'll, we'll stop by your store shortly then. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, right, guys. We're going to call up a Safeway and ask them the best aisle to fucking destroy some poontang in. Target West Guest Service. This is Marlena speaking. How may I help you? Hey, I have a inquiry for you about um, your Safeway location. Um, what would you say the best aisle there is to have sex in? I'm sorry. Could you repeat your question? Uh, yeah. What is the best aisle at uh, Safeway to have sex in? Are you asking a question about Safeway? I mean Target, I mean Target. You're asking, okay. I need, sorry. I, give me one moment to get somewhere a little quieter because I think I'm misunderstanding the question. One moment, please. I don't think you're misunderstanding the question. Okay, what are you asking? Um, what is the best aisle in Target to have sex in? You're an idiot. Stop calling here. I'm very, very sorry. Alright guys, we're going to be calling up a homie who works at Safeway to see if we can get some inside advice on destroying some ass at Safeway. Hey. Hey Jasper, um, so we have a question for you. Yeah, for sure. You work at Safeway, right? Yeah, yeah, I work at Safeway. What is the best aisle to lay some pipe in? To do what in? To smash some poontang in. The best aisle? Yes. And that's a hard one. Probably you'd want to be doing it in... Probably in like the uh, drugs and cosmetics aisle, right? Because that one's got uh, the low ceiling and like the cameras can't don't have a good look at it. So, uh... All right. That's right. Huh? Oh, that sounds perfect. Is it, would it be like... Comfortable at all in there? Any kind of like doggy beds in a near like nearby section you could like drag out? Oh, bro. Uh, I mean, if you really want to be like sneaky about it, you can uh, you can go into uh, so you have to go through the into the back right where the employees are. And then you can sneak into the maintenance room and like that would be totally like nobody would know you're there. Are there beds back there? Beds? I don't know, man. We could set one up. Like nobody would ever like check down there. <laughs> Hey. Nobody goes down there ever. Hmm. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in to the Runaway Kids Podcast.